how are you friends today i will told you how can we create the complete drainage system in revit i will divide the drainage system topic into five parts so that you can practice every part well and the video should not be too long in the today's first part i will share with you how can we create a model and the procedure of creating drainage pipe type and piping system in the second part we will discuss about drainage pipe segment and pipe size catalog how can we create pipe segment and how we can apply material on pipe and also how to create a catalog of its nominal inside and outside diameter while making a pipe segment in the third part we will practice on pipe routing preferences pipe system along pipe needs different fittings like elbow t cross and end cap etc we will discuss on these fitting settings in the fourth part we will draw a drainage system practically so that you can also make a system and in the fifth and last part we will discuss about pipe tags different types of pipe tags are required in different submissions design stage pipe tags are different and in the shop drawings pipe tags requirements are different we will learn how can we create pipe tags and how can we add parameters on tags we will discuss on these stages in details i will provide links of these videos in downward description let's start our topic first of all i welcome all my friends on my educational channel subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest videos like and share also let's start the first part of drainage system in this part we will learn how can we create a model and learn about creating a pipe type and piping system first of all open the revit revit startup page is in front of us we create a project new project browser is in front of us we always needs a project template for creating a project there are some default templates in the revit according to discipline we can use any template or if you have any project template then we can call it from the saved location through browse button and can use it there are two options downward the first option is create new project in this option we can create a project and the second option is create new project template in this option we can store different types of elements systems tags schedule formats families etc in a project template then we save this project template at any desired location and we will use this project template while creating a project so that we don't have to load the elements and families that we need in the project again and again and also 
no need to recreate systems and schedule formats. Let's use the default project template with the browse button. The default location of project template is C, Program Data, Autodesk, Revit 2020. If you have Revit 2018 version, then 2018 will display here or the version you have will be displayed. There are three folders in the templates. The first is the generic folder which contains templates of different countries in their languages. Then there are inches units project template in US imperial folder. US metric folder consists of millimeter unit project templates. The choice of project template in terms of units is very important before starting a project. The project you are working on is either in inches or millimeter. The project template is selected according to the project units. We choose the plumbing default metric project template for the piping system. Select and open it. First of all, save this project at any location with the name of drainage system so that you can add this project in the rest of videos. To make a piping system, you need two things. First is pipe type and the second one is system type. These two things are included in the family browser. So click on the families folder. Now expand the pipes. Here you will find the pipe types and by clicking the piping system you will see different piping system here. All these systems are loaded inside this project template so we can see it here. The first tool is pipe tool in system tab plumbing and piping panel for draw a pipe. You can select it or punch its shortcut key PI from keyboard. This part of the properties palette is called type selector. You can select pipe type from here. At the bottom in the mechanical section, you can select system type. The pipe type and system type must be the same. Pipe diameter and middle elevation can be changed through options bar. We can see different pipe type and piping system in project browser. They are already built into this project template. The piping system already have sanitary and vent systems. We rename the sanitary system as soil. If you want to make a pipe of any kind, duplicate that pipe by right clicking on a pipe and this piping system name can be modified by rename option. While designing the system, the name of system should be same in the pipe type and system type so that there is no confusion of any kind. There are soil and vent pipes in the piping system. 
but there are no soil and vent pipe types in the pipe type. So duplicate the pipe type PVC DWV simply right clicking on the pipe. Now click on this duplicated system again to correct its name and assign a name soil. We will do the same procedure in the pipe type for vent pipe. In some projects, the sanitary system is divided into two piping systems. First is solid waste system, which comes from water closet. Second is liquid waste system, which comes from bath showers, lavatory, ablution or floor drain. This is called waste pipe. In this case, you have to duplicate the pipes on both the pipe type and the piping system and rename it. You will have both systems ready. You just have to be clear one thing that of which pipes have same routing preferences. After setting the routing preferences, of one of these pipes. It has to be duplicated because duplicating a pipe type will also copy the routing preferences and you don't have to work again and again to set up routing preferences. We will practice routing preferences in the next third video. Select Fine Pipe Detail Level in the view control bar so we have to look at the pipe double line equal size select the pipe tool the pipe type is standard in properties palette heal it and set up a soil pipe and also set up a soil pipe in the system type Set the pipe diameter 50 and the middle elevation 500. Now draw a pipe in the drying working area. Pipe edges are in green color. We can change this color. To do this, Right click on soil pipe and select type properties. Edit its value in graphics parameter. The line graphics bar is open. Here we can change the line pattern. Select color cyan. The line weight is adjustable from the third row. Press OK and apply it. Conceptual design stage working is in single line. And continue line pattern is also not used. That's why we keep its detail level course. It was just for your understanding that how can we control it. Now we keep its line pattern no override. From the detail level fine, this pipe will look double line and actual size. Similarly, Practice to draw a vent pipe. Change the line graphics color 
in the piping system for vent pipe. You can use from here any color you want. Now you save this project. Today in the first part, we learn to create a project and understand the procedure of making a pipe type and piping system. In the next part, we will talk about the pipe segment and the pipe size catalog. That how to create a pipe, how to apply pipe material and how to create a pipe size catalog. So wait for my next video. Hope you understand and enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more educational videos, BIM Talks.